It's time for a free body diagram challenge. I'm Scott from RedmondPhysicsTutoring.com, and this video will challenge you to draw a free body diagram for a sphere on a plane. Here's the situation. A sphere is attached to a cable and held against a frictionless plane. The sphere has a weight of 123 newtons down. See what I did? Weight is a vector, so it has magnitude and direction. Your challenge is to draw an FBD of the sphere. This was an actual quiz question from early 2013. What would you do next? To get the most out of this challenge, pause the video while you sketch a large FBD, and then hit play when you're done. Ready? Great. When I draw an FBD, I like to show the object, but for this problem it's okay to just show the object as a particle. I also like to write F town on the side as a reminder of which forces I need to consider. Friction, tension, other, for example, Coulomb forces, magnetic forces, or problem-specific applied forces, etc., weight, and normal forces. Here the plane is frictionless, so there's no friction. There is tension. FTSC is the tension exerted on the sphere by the cable. There are no other forces. There is weight. FGSE is the force of gravity exerted on the sphere by the Earth. Finally, there is a normal force. FNSP is the normal force exerted on the sphere by the inclined plane. For a complete FBD, you also need axes. I usually like to draw my axes off to the side somewhere like this, but it's also common to draw them passing right through the object like this. Either way is fine. One last thing, I need to sort out some angles before I can calculate the x and y components of the off-axis forces, tension and normal. When you're sorting out angles, it really helps to have a large diagram and work piece by piece. I'll start with tension. Adding a vertical line here gives an angle of 45 degrees because 45 plus 90 plus another 45 gives 180 degrees inside this right angle triangle. And because these are straight lines, I know that this angle is also 45 degrees. The angle here is 20 degrees because these are also straight lines, and 45 plus 20 plus theta must add up to 90 degrees, giving theta equals 25 degrees between the line of the cable and horizontal. Therefore, the tension force is directed 25 degrees counterclockwise of the plus x axis. For the normal force, I can draw a vertical line here to create a small right angle triangle, and the angle at the top must be 45 degrees. Then, since the normal force is normal, which in this context is just another word for perpendicular, to the plane, there must be an angle of 45 degrees between vertical and the normal force. Drawing a horizontal line then shows that there must also be 45 degree angles here and here. Ultimately, the normal force is directed 45 degrees counterclockwise from the plus y axis. That's it for the free body diagram. Now I'm ready to write the equations for Newton's second law along each axis. I'm Scott Redmond, and I help students pass physics. If this video was helpful to you, please like it in YouTube to let me know.